Kevin Garcia would fight hype. Just wanted to know what he was telling you. I, I know you you had to answer the question a second ago, but I didn't really hear you clearly. Yeah, he's just, um, you know, he can't wait to punch me. I can't wait to punch him. So, uh, I told him to put them damn vipers back on his face. He's been wearing them silly ass sunglasses all week. So, Caleb, uh, how important is it in this fight to keep it in the center of the ring? Looks like he does a lot of his best work on the ropes. And, and you're just your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, wherever the fight goes, I'm comfortable. You know, I can fight off the ropes. I can fight in the center of the ring. You know, I can fight from distance. I can fight in the pocket. So, uh, you know, I'm a well-rounded fighter, and this is the most well-rounded I've ever been. You know, me and my team, we've been putting in a lot of hard work over this last year, and uh, it'll show. He's been uh, dropped and hurt by, you know, much lesser fighters than on this level. Do you think you knock him out Saturday night? Um, We'll see. I, I know I get my hand raised, so however that comes. So we'll what, see. What, what do you see from him when you watch the team? You know, good and bad. What do you, what do you see from McCombie when you watch him? Um, he's a strong guy. You know, a lot of us are strong in 168, though. Um, He's uh, snappy, pretty quick, and, you know, regardless of the opposition level, he does have a lot of knockouts, so he at least believes in his power. And so, um, but we got a game plan, and, you know, I'm going to stick it to a game plan, so. I know you, you said, uh, like, 359 rounds. Yeah. You look very sharp and confident, but just how do you, as a fighter, not have thoughts about, I haven't fought in 18 months, and... You know, and, and the, that, those kinds of things, the, the, the rust and, and the Benavides fight was a grueling fight down the stretch, too. Why doesn't any of that affect you heading into this one? Because um, I'm, I'm confident in my training. I'm confident in my preparation. And, um, you know, the voice in my head says that I'm a great fighter. So why would I believe anybody else or if anybody else, you know, objects? Okay. Can you talk to us about, I just heard Sean say, uh, talked about the time off. But talk to us about, we also see the revenge tour. You've seen the amount of time that you put in with the team and how deep the team is from the suction, uh, from the cupping yeah, yeah. to the massage to everything that you do. Yeah. Can you kind of shed some light on how that's kind of kept you feeling fresh like you are right now? Yeah, I've said it before, but, you know, I feel like fighters start to get a little money and, you know, they, they enjoy the finer things, which is great. You know, I've done the same thing, but... You know, when you're an entrepreneur, which is what you are when you're a professional boxer, you know, you can't forget to reinvest back into your company. And, um, you know, a nutritionist, you know, a massage therapist, going to physical therapy. Um, I even have a sports psychologist this uh, camp. You know, a lot of great athletes have had that. And it's not like sitting around talking about your feelings. It's about, you know, putting a game plan together for visualization and, you know, just things like that. And, um, you know, obviously with the Revenge Store brand, um, you know, I feel like fighters should put more time into building their brand, you know, as opposed to just popping up on fight night. That's what I believe, you know, and it's, it's done well by me. A lot of people have gravitated towards it and liked it. So, you know, uh, the Revenge Store brand has been doing well and, you know, we're on the tour now. What did you gain from, you guys were up close and you guys shared some words. We didn't really get to hear the conversation, but what did you gain from the eyes of your opponent for being that close to him? Uh, what do you feel about his energy from him? Uh, he's excited. He's excited. He's, um, but he's never been on the stage. And, uh, you know, we'll see how he handles it when the bell rings. How much is, um, Andre, you know, just, how much is talking with Andre Ward, even talking with him heading into this fight? Like, just, how does he play a role in, in just helping that much more? Yeah, like I said, you know, um, it's been a blessing to, you know, become good friends with Dre. And it's not like we talk every week or anything like that. But anytime that I do say, hey, you know, I got a question or what do you think about this? You know, he's always been right there to pick up the phone and, you know, point me the best way that he can. And um, like I said, one of the things I hear him say over and over is certain opinions aren't validated. You know, if you haven't walked through the fire, you can, everyone can have an opinion, but that doesn't mean that it's validated. And um, the negative comments from his team, they aren't, they aren't validated. And well, that was the point also, I was making. said you're not a bum. And then what matters is Trevor knows I'm not a bum. I'm world class, and he knows that. Kill, did you give it Edgar Belanga a chance this weekend? Yeah, I got only one I got for you. Um, fighters always say they're working on things. It's supposed to show up at fight night. You fight against Anthony Durrell. The power really showed up. You said you were working on that. Is there a wrinkle for this one we should be looking for on fight night? Um, just a more uh, well-rounded fighter, you know. 
every fighter, you know, there's certain areas of the game they can work on to get better. You know, boxing is, is a never-ending um, stop to, you know, working on your craft. And so just being a more well, well-rounded fighter and being comfortable in whatever position or whatever place I'm in in the ring, whether that's in the pocket, on the inside, whether that's thinking of movement, boxing on the outside, on the ropes or in the center of the ring. And um, so, yeah, just moving the edges of my game, and you guys will see the best game of playing yet. Caleb, just... Caleb, two quick questions for you. CP.